Okay, now let's look at this question. Yeah, a ball of mass 0 0.5 kilogram at a point A with initial speed u equal to 4 meter per second at a height of 10 meter as shown in the figure. Ignore the frictional force. Okay, good. Determine. So this is the important one. Ignore the frictional force. Okay, so we can say no work, no heat, no energy loss. Ah, uh, yeah, the energy loss is zero. Uh, no energy loss. That means this one is conservation of mechanical energy. Uh, just want to write it down there. Yeah, conservation. This one obeys conservation of mechanical energy. Ah, uh, so this is the one. Ah, uh. conservation of mechanical energy. What are mechanical energy? Mechanical energy means only the uh, the energy only always exists in the form of potential energy and kinetic energy. Uh, so mechanical energy means just just these two lah, just the potential and the the energy always remain in the form of potential energy and kinetic energy. Uh, no energy loss, no energy conversion into heat, no work done against friction. Yeah, no work done against friction. No, uh, no, no energy changes into other form. The energy always maintained in the form of uh, potential energy and kinetic energy and the value they are conserved okay so that's that's why you say ignore the frictional force yeah so that means mechanical energy is conserved uh, initial the initial mechanical energy is equal to the final mechanical energy uh, or you can say initial uh, potential plus kinetic equal to final potential plus kinetic okay so this uh, situation see you say ignore frictional force no frictional force means it obey the conservation of mechanical energy. Okay, now uh, there are how many points? There are one, two, three, four. A, B, C, D. There are four points here. For each point, we need to identify what are, are the form of energy it has. Uh, what are the form of energy it has? Look at point A. So point A has what kind of energy? Okay, good. It has ten meter. Okay, 10 meter means it has the potential energy. So write it down. Yeah. Over there it has the potential energy. We put as UA. Okay, is there any kinetic energy? Yes, it got the initial velocity. You see, point A he has the initial speed, U equal to 4. Uh, this U equal to 4, 4 meter per second. That means it has a kinetic energy. You put as KA. Ah, uh, okay, it has kinetic energy. So even this one is at the maximum height, but uh, see, it still have velocity. You still have velocity. Mean it still have kinetic energy. Don't always make a conclusion that oh, at the maximum height, the kinetic energy must be equal to zero. No, sometimes the ball is still moving. Ball is still moving at the top. If the ball is still moving at the top, means it still have kinetic energy. Okay. Now, how about block B? Uh, point B. Point B is uh. Uh, you see, what is the speed of the ball at point B uh, where the height is 3 meter? Okay, so B still have some height. Uh, still have some height. The height of B is 3 meter. So please write it down. There is a height. Uh, there is the height for B, which is uh, 3 meter. Uh, 3 meter. So it still have some height. Point B still have some height. So it still have potential energy. So put as UB. Does it have kinetic energy? Of course, at the lowest point, always have a lot of kinetic energy uh, because it has speed. Uh, so it has kinetic energy. Okay. How about point C? Point C, he did say, okay, wait for, wait for a while. Look at point D first. Point D, of course, it says speed of the ball at point D. So point D only has kinetic energy. Uh, point D only has kinetic energy because it doesn't have any height, no height anymore. You see? No height. No height means uh, no potential energy. Already reached the ground. Uh, okay. How about point C? Point C is explained in the question D. He said, what is the maximum height of point C so that the ball can just pass over it? So, do you? Uh, the ball can pass over it at point C. So, what, what does this imply to you? What is the maximum height possible 
uh, of the point C so that the ball can just merely, uh, just add a word, can merely, uh, can merely pass away. Can merely pass away. That means if, uh, if the height is uh, more than the maximum height, the ball cannot pass over it. The ball cannot pass away. Now this C is at the already very maximum height. Just that just allow the ball to merely pass away. That means this imply the ball. This implies the ball uh, over here is uh, almost stationary. Uh, I can say that the velocity here is zero. Uh, velocity here is zero. So it, uh, the kinetic energy also zero. The kinetic energy of point C, also, uh, the velocity at C is zero. So kinetic energy at point C is zero. Understand? Because the the ball just merely pass away. It. That mean that means like the ball stop temporary there. Stop temporary there. Uh, stop temporary there with zero velocity, and then just merely topple from the point C. Uh, just merely topple from the point C. So at point C, uh, velocity is zero, kinetic energy is zero. Uh, all the kinetic energy has changed to potential energy. So at point C only has potential energy, zero kinetic energy. Understand or not? Because all the uh, kinetic energy and the potential energy all added up become the only the potential energy at point C. The kinetic energy has reduced to zero. Okay, just mere the ball just merely pass away. So can you see the relationship from here? So the initial potential plus kinetic must always equal to the final potential plus kinetic uh, from one process to another. Uh, so what I can say is so what I can say is um, like this. I can say that the potential energy of uh, potential energy of A, okay. Look at here. Potential energy of A. Uh, no, no. What I want to say is, um, the total energy, the total energy, at, the total mechanical energy at point A must always equal to the total mechanical energy at point B, and must also equal to the total energy at point C, and equal to the total energy at point D. Ah, this is what we call conservation of mechanical energy. Conservation of mechanical energy. Uh, so uh, the energy does not lost, always maintained in the form of potential and kinetic. Okay. So now we write one by one. Huh? Uh, the condi the types of energy for each condition. So for point A, for point A, it has uh, U A plus it has potential and kinetic. Okay, for point B, it also has potential and kinetic, uh, but it has more kinetic, less potential because at lower height. Uh, okay, and then at C, it has only potential energy because no kinetic energy. The ball just merely passes over C, and then point D, it has no height at all. No height at all. That means all the energy has turned to kinetic energy. Ah, so what I can say is, you always can compare each state to the earlier state. You see that? The energy, you always can compare to the earlier state. Ah, okay. So do you know how to solve this question now? Ah, okay. First of all, look at how to, uh, what is the total energy at point uh, A first. Uh, let's do part A. Yeah? Let, let us first do part A. So now, what's the total energy at point A? So total energy at point A, okay. Oh, I'm so tired, all right. So what's the total energy at point A? Total energy at point A is just the potential energy plus kinetic energy, okay. So we use a formula, yeah. We use a formula, potential energy is MGH, uh, but this is HA. Plus kinetic half mv square, but it is velocity at point A. So let's do it. Uh, the mass is 0 0.5. Let's calculate, put into it. 
and uh, is 0.5 kilogram multiplied by gravity is 9.81 what's the height ah uh, 10 meter so put 10 meter yeah 10 meter plus half what is the mass again 0.5 what is the velocity velocity initial velocity is 4 uh, just put 4 okay so it is 4 square so now what is the answer let's calculate okay i got the answer is uh, 53 53 huh? 53.05 joule okay so that means uh the initial total energy uh, is uh, 53.05 that means it is equal to all total energy of all conditions so i can write I can write uh, all of them. They are 53.05 Joule. Okay? Uh, I can write at least. Uh, because uh, the initial condition A, the total energy is uh, 53.05. So this 53.05 is always conserved in every process. A, B, C, D. Always conserved in all process. Always conserved in all process. All are same value 53.05 okay so that's correct yeah is it correct yes that's correct total energy at point a is 53.05 that's correct that's good yeah wonderful yeah fantastical mm. so now want to find the speed of ball at point b okay now we need to look at point b already so let's continue let's do point b shall we well, find the speed of the ball at point B. That means speed. The speed of ball at point B. So that means uh, I can just say uh, the total energy of the point A is the same as total energy for point B, isn't it? Uh, point B. So just now the total energy for point A I already got 53.05 Joule. And the same amount of total energy is inherited, inherited by point B. So over point B, it has the potential energy plus uh, kinetic energy. So it is uh, this one is um, you know U B plus U U uh, U B plus K B. So which is M G H B. Uh, use the height of uh, height of H uh, B, and then kinetic half M uh, V B we sorry vb square ah use the vb okay ah so now let's continue uh fifty three point zero five joule so what's the mass mass is zero point five kilogram so zero point five multiplied by uh, nine point eight one what's the height ah uh, height is three meter you see that point b height is three meter height is three meter Okay, and then plus half. Uh, what's the mass? 0 0.5. Uh, 0 0.5. Okay, mass is uh, 0 0.5. So what's the velocity? Uh, we want to find velocity at point B. So find lah. Uh, find the velocity at point B. Uh, so let's calculate now. Yeah, find the velocity at point B. Let's calculate. Oh, I got the answer is uh, 12.38, 12.38, uh, meter per second. Is that the answer correct? Let's check the answer. Is that the answer correct? Uh, yes, 12.38, that's correct. Yeah, give a thumbs up and give a big clap. Yay! <laughs> okay, now. Okay, okay. So now let's proceed to point C. Yeah, let's go out, move on to point C. Uh, point C. Oh, sorry. Point C. It is a uh, look at point C. So point C is uh, no, no. Point C is question C. Question C. What is the speed of the ball at point D? Uh, at point D only has kinetic energy. So we will still use that the same. Uh, conservation of mechanical energy so the total energy at point a is the same as the total energy at point d okay 
So the energy still remain the same, which is 53.05 equal to what's the energy at point D? Only the kinetic energy. So it's only half mv square. Half mv. Uh, this one I put at velocity d. Okay? Now what's the mass? 0 0.5 kilogram. So put in the mass. Okay, put in the mass. 5. Uh, no, no, not 5. It's 0 0.5, isn't it? Uh, it's 0 0.5 kilogram. And then this velocity d. Uh, and then... Here, energy is still 53.05. Now, let's calculate the answer, yeah? Let's calculate the answer. Okay. Ah, I got the answer uh, of velocity D is uh, uh, 14.57 meter per second. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. 14.57 meter per second. That's good. Yay. Okay, now, uh, let's look at the last question. Okay, we have solved that. Now, look at the last question. Point the question D. Question D. What is the maximum height of point C? So that point, what is the maximum height? That means I want to find this one. I want to find the maximum height of this. What is the height of point C? Ah, uh, yeah, point C. So that the ball can just merely pass away. And merely pass away, that means their kinetic energy is zero. Uh, only has potential energy. So, okay, use again the same concept, the conservation of mechanical energy. The energy, total energy in point A must also equal to the total energy in point C. So, uh, 53.05 is always constant all the time. Yeah, always constant all the time. But at point C, point C, it only has potential energy. It only has potential energy. Uh, so, this potential energy is equal to mg multiply hc. Uh, this, I want to find the hc. Okay, hc. So, now... Um, Okay, so let's calculate. So the mass is uh, 0 0.5. Uh, yeah, no kinetic energy. Uh. No kinetic energy. No, it's because zero velocity. Now height C. So let's find the height C. Let's calculate. Okay, let's calculate. Uh, I got... What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? So I got the answer is... The height is 10 point... 8, 2 meter. Uh, 8, 10.82 meter. Is that correct? Yay! I got the answer correct. The height is 10.82 meter. That's good. Okay. So, height. Is this height be higher than the height A? Yes, it's higher. You see? Height A is only 10 meter. But height C is 10.82 meter. Uh, so, uh, it has, has some extra height. Why it has some extra height? Because the kinetic energy A, kinetic energy A here, this small portion, has totally changed, totally turned to pot gravitational potential energy, no more kinetic energy. All kinetic energy, all the remaining kinetic energy has changed to potential energy. That's why it can go to a, to a greater height, 10.82 uh, meter from 10 meter. Okay? So that's just the way to do conservation of energy. Hope you understand. Yeah? Conservation of mechanical energy where no energy loss. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.